Hey guys, what is up? Damien here bringing you my new series, Call of Duty Weekend Review for September 4th, 2013. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is Xbox and PS3 are working together with Infinity Ward to ban and remove as many players from the Call of Duty universe who are doing cyberbullying and stuff like that and all this stuff that you know is going into the lobbies nowadays. And when you go into a lobby, you will definitely see and know what Infinity Ward and PS3 and Xbox are all talking about. So the next thing is Amazon from the United Kingdom has unveiled a new pre-order bonus for Call of Duty Ghost into the deep bonuses is what, what it is called and it will be included with the Xbox 360, PS3 and PC versions. So the Xbox 360 will get into the deep skinned avatar for your character and an in-game patch for the characters. PlayStation 3 will get an exclusive into the deep theme for their PS3 for and also get the in-game patch also and PC players will get the in-game digital patch for their characters as well. Activision has also issued a statement that the characters that you make on each system will not be able to be switched from PS3 to Xbox 360 say, but it will still be able to be changed from the family only consoles which will be from Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. Uh, uh, Mark Rubin actually reported that earlier in the month that you could switch your characters that you made on Xbox and then you can get those also on PS3. but Activision's community manager has recently put out a statement that it can only go from system to system as in Xbox 360 to Xbox One and PS3 to PS4. So as we move on in this week, Unite Gaming has won MLG PAX Prime and that was in Seattle and they beat Complexity who was the last four tournament winners on Black Ops 2 but this one also had new rules that I've heard that Complexity lost or had majority of their losses because of shotguns and sentry guns were allowed in this tournament. So most of the teams in on this were excited to get back to the real MLG rules. The next Black Ops 2 tournament will also be at Gfinity 2, which as you can recall at Gfinity 1, Complexity won it all, and this one will be in October, so that will be the next major MLG gaming basically tournament that will be going on. So I can't wait to see how this one goes out. This will probably be the last MLG tournament for Black Ops 2. So it's going to be very exciting. And I hope to see you guys in my future. So please hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more Call of Duty Week updates. And this has been 9 for 2013's update. I can't wait to bring you guys next week's th update. And be sure to subscribe. And I'll be sure to bring daily updates if anything major is announced throughout the week until then. So see you guys.